Your DNA is a living archive, etched with the legacy of not just Neanderthals and Denisovans, but also a mysterious third human species. For years, we thought human evolution was a simple tale. Homo sapiens rose in Africa, outlasting all others. But cutting-edge DNA research has shattered that story, revealing a saga of ancient interbreeding. We've long known about Neanderthal and Denisovan contributions to our genes. But now science has uncovered something even wilder, a previously unknown lineage that left its mark on us. Let's unravel this incredible tale of our hybrid ancestry. When we talk about ancient human relatives, the Neanderthals, Homo neanderthalensis, are probably the most famous. These incredible ancient humans lived across Europe and parts of Western Asia for a long, long time, from around 400,000 years ago until they faded from the record about 40,000 years ago. They were well adapted to the cold, often harsh climates of the Ice Age. Think of them as having a more robust, stocky build with a prominent brow ridge and a distinctive nose shape. They weren't primitive brutes, as often depicted in older media. In fact, they were highly skilled hunters, tool makers, and even had complex social behaviors, possibly including ritual burials. The big discovery that linked them directly to us came thanks to groundbreaking work by geneticists like Svante Perbo and his team. They managed to extract and sequence DNA from Neanderthal bones, something once thought impossible. What they found revolutionized our understanding of human history. It turns out that when our ancestors, modern humans, Homo sapiens, began migrating out of Africa roughly 60,000 to 70,000 years ago, they didn't just populate new lands. They met Neanderthals. And they didn't just coexist, they interbred. Today, if you have non-African ancestry, you likely carry about 1-2% to of Neanderthal DNA in your genome. This subtle genetic signature is a living testament to these ancient encounters. And this isn't just a historical footnote. That small percentage of Neanderthal DNA actually has real-world effects on us today. For example, some of these ancient genes are linked to our immune system's response to certain pathogens, potentially offering protection against diseases our ancestors encountered. Other Neanderthal genes have been associated with traits like skin and hair color, our sleep patterns, and even the shape of our noses. Some studies even suggest a link to conditions like type 2 diabetes or a predisposition to certain neurological disorders. It's a powerful reminder that our deep past continues to shape who we are in the present. While the Neanderthals are relatively well known, our next ancient relative, the Denisovans, are far more mysterious. We primarily know them not from extensive fossil records, but from tiny fragments discovered in a single location, a cave in Siberia called Denisova Cave. Imagine that, a finger bone, a few teeth, that's almost all we had to go on. Yet from these minuscule remains, scientists managed to extract and sequence their DNA. What that genetic code revealed was astonishing. These weren't Neanderthals, nor were they modern humans. They were a distinct, previously unknown group of hominins. And just like with the Neanderthals, the story took another fascinating turn. When geneticists compared Denisovan DNA to that of modern humans, they found clear evidence of interbreeding. This mixing didn't happen globally, though. The genetic footprint of the Denisovans is most pronounced in populations across Asia, particularly in Southeast Asia and Oceania. If you're from places like Melanesia, Papua New Guinea, or Aboriginal Australia, you might carry a significant percentage of Denisovan DNA, often ranging from 2% to 5%. Even some populations in mainland Asia show traces of this ancient lineage though typically at lower levels. These ancient Denisovan genes aren't just silent passengers. They've played a role in shaping modern human populations too. One of the most famous examples is the EPAS-1 gene found in high-altitude Tibetans. This gene helps them adapt to low-oxygen environments 
and remarkably, it appears to have been inherited directly from Denisovans, who were already adapted to such conditions. Beyond high-altitude adaptation, research suggests that Denisovan DNA might also influence our immune system's function, how our bodies metabolize fats, and even the distribution of body fat. So while their physical remains are scarce, their genetic legacy is very much alive and well within us. Now, here's where the story takes an even more astonishing turn. While Neanderthal and Denisovan DNA tells us about ancient interbreeding outside of Africa, recent research has uncovered evidence of a third entirely unknown ancient human group that also mixed with our ancestors, but this time right within Africa itself. We call this a ghost lineage because unlike the Neanderthals and Denisovans, we haven't yet found any physical fossils or direct ancient DNA from this mysterious group. Their existence is inferred entirely from sophisticated analysis of the genomes of modern African populations. It's like finding ripples in a pond and knowing something caused them, even if you can't see the pebble. The evidence is strong. Studies published in reputable scientific journals, like one in Science Advances by De Vassula and Sankararaman in 2020, have provided compelling proof of this ancient interbreeding event. By looking at the genetic makeup of present-day West African populations, such as the Yoruba and Isan, scientists found distinctive genetic patterns that couldn't be explained by just modern human evolution. These patterns point to contributions from an ancient hominin population that branched off from the main human lineage a very long time ago, potentially between 360,000 and over a million years ago. This ghost group then interbred with the ancestors of modern West Africans at various times, contributing a significant percentage of DNA estimated to be anywhere from 2% to as much as 19%. This discovery is hugely significant. For a long time, the narrative of human evolution often focused on the out-of-Africa migrations, with less emphasis on the complex genetic mixing that was happening within the continent. This ghost lineage provides compelling evidence that Africa, the very cradle of humanity, was also a hotbed of diverse hominin interactions and genetic exchange. It paints an even richer, more intricate picture of our origins, reminding us that the story of human evolution is far from fully told. Ultimately, the story in our DNA reinforces a beautiful truth. Diversity is our strength. Our shared journey is far more intricate and expansive than we ever imagined. We are all part of a grander narrative, a story of survival, migration and intermingling that continues to unfold within every cell of our being. If you found this video fascinating and want to explore more mysteries of DNA and human origins, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our next compelling content.